Welcome everyone to your second tutorial. I'd like to um, now start with showing you some of the uh, tools that you can be use, use in course sites. As you can see, we're, I'm already in the content section of the student site. Um, that's what I did, I went on to content. This is what I've got, I've already put some stuff up for the students. But just to give you an idea of some of the, the, the things that we can do with them, um, with with the whole th whole um, thing is just basically we can add a whole lot of um, information and and um, other stuff to for the students. So um, just if you want to see that you've got tools here that I just need you to oh, sorry need you to view to see what they can be using. And you've got announcements that you can have, you can have messages, you can have Blackboard help, obviously, blogs, MPC Learn, Calendar, Contacts, uh, Course Sites, IM, have uh, basically quite a nice thing for the students to be able to IM each other. We also have Course Sites Live, which is fan a fantastic tool to use. We used it um, as a practice in the class the other day. And it basically, it's about a, 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 where it's a live situation and the person that's talking is the person that you will see so um, it's um, quite, quite nice to have have something like that so I would suggest trying using that the discussion board is quite a nice one where you can create threads and they then respond to it um, you've got uh, glossaries you've got a voice podcaster voice email voice board a few things as I said that you can use for the students that they, you might want to add to your content. The resources is also here um, and I'm going to show you some of our tools that we can add and that's basically resources that you would add to the for the student like the information about it this is obviously the basic one but it's a sample thing and you would just delete it after you've done worked with it but, but basically the whole thing is to show you how you can actually use this. Oops, we want that site definitely. Um, so yeah, going into our course tools, you'll see it's absolutely the same thing that we've got, but you'll see it in a different format. You'll see we've got announcements, blogs, contacts, course calendar, course sites live, discussion board, glossary, journals, mess messages, etc. So. I would suggest playing around with these uh, tools and use it with your students. Give them wikis, give them tests and surveys. This is a really nice one to have. And some tasks that they need to do. So um, you can also then, when you get that, you, you can get the tests graded and then automatic grading and that gives them the, an, an idea of how they've um, done, how they've done um, in their um, tests that you've created. So you can build a whole lot of content when you do. You can create for an item, a file, your audio, image, video, web link, uh, anything about the course itself, content folder with information or a module page or a blank page where you just want to write out um, some image of, uh, info. And, and obviously now we can do the Flickr YouTube, SlideShare presentation, Google Documents, and this is new by the way, Google Documents, they included that you can use Google um, tools. So as I say, you've got quite a variety here. You can do the assessments as we said, uh, that you, they can do, test or a survey, an assignment, self and peer assessment, where they can actually make the assessment for each other. And they've got the same things that we have. Um, and this is just basically if your your um, your book, the textbook is actually available um, online. Like a lot of the marketing books are, I know that we use, etc. So I hope you enjoyed this um, little little tutorial. It's short uh, because there's two to do every single one would be too long um, for the recording. But I would really like to see if you could maybe try and incorporate even just one of these tools. You'll see how much fun the students actually have with it. My students absolutely adore uh, course sites. They think it's the best thing since sliced bread. So I hope you enjoy it and enjoy playing and having fun. And, let, and hopefully I, you guys can give me feedback on how you feel about it. 
and how the students reacted to it. Maybe we can do a survey afterwards to say, did you enjoy the playing around with it or didn't you, etc. Um, and that's that. Thank you very much. I hope to see you guys soon. If you tell me to give me feedback to see how we did. Thanks. Bye.